Hey you guys, I'm here with another DIY and it's going to be a gift for Teachers Appreciation Day. Believe it or not, it's in like two days, so I decided why not. I already made them something for Valentine's. Might as well make them something for this too. I didn't just want to give them a gift card. So I went to Dollar Tree and I found this cute, adorable container. And it's great for organizing stuff and putting stuff together. And it's so cute, you guys. I decided this is what I'm going to give the teacher. So I will be making two gifts since she does have an assistant. I didn't want to leave her out, but hers will be way smaller. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up this little container for the teacher with different types of goodies. Anything I can think of. The first thing I picked up from the Dollar Tree were these cute erasers, you guys. They are adorable. They come in red and pink. And I decided, why not throw a bunch of these little erasers in one of the little trays. I thought that was a cute idea. And the rest of them, we'll see what I'll do with them. But yeah, let me open this up really quick and throw a bunch of them in there. I thought it was so cute. Plus, they are pink and red. So, I thought it would make it more like Valentine's theme. Why not? I might as well. Because I didn't just want to do, you know, since this was out there. Because I went to the Dollar Tree and I'm like, oh my God, I, I should just make them something. Why not? It's not too expensive anyways. So, look at these cute little erasers. Aren't they adorable? And I'm going to go ahead and take some for me to put in my pencils. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill up one of the little trays and put as many as I can. You know, I have to make sure that the lid still closes on this um, container. So I'm just going to put a couple of them in there just like that so it looks nice and cute. See, I got to make sure it closes. And it does. So that was a good idea. You guys, those are in the Valentine section right now at the dollar store. If you want to go ahead and check them out, they're right there. The next thing I decided to add were these little diamond drops. And I'm just going to add a handful of these little drops in there. They have a little sticker on the back so they could put them anywhere they want. I thought that was so cute. And since they are teachers, I'm sure they're crafty enough to find out a way how to use them. And I picked those up. I had those from the Dollar Tree. I picked them up from the Christmas section. So I had those already. See, we got to reuse everything we have. That way, when you make a gift, you know, you can use it up. The next thing I picked up, you guys, were, were a bunch of candy just to put in there. So I got this Reese's. I thought they were so cute and all full of decorations. So I'm going to go ahead and add these little Reese's on the top. And I'm going to make sure that I add them really nice and straight. So let's go ahead and add these Reese's on there. They're really nice and straight. And I think that is a perfect idea. You guys, look at how cute it's already coming out. And I'm just, I just lined them up and they fit perfect in this container. So all the chocolates that I grabbed were like the snack size and the small size. Don't grab anything big because it's not going to fit. The next thing I'll be adding are these mini Snickers. And they're perfect, you guys. Look at how tiny they are. They're tinier than the little, the individual little ones, the mini ones. And they fit perfect. So I'm going to add those in the next container that I find. Just one in front of the other, one in front of the other. Just stack them up and it comes out so nice, you guys. You have to try this idea. I'm going to try it again for like somebody's birthday or even Christmas. I'm not sure yet, but I really love this idea. It came out so cute and I'm so happy. So all I'm doing is moving stuff around because i have a bunch of little goodies and i want to make sure that they fit when i put them in but look at how cute they actually fit perfect in all the individual slots the next thing i picked up was some walmart you guys i want to go pick up some more of the hand sanitizers they were a dollar and 98 cents and they're all gone let me tell you there is nothing left at walmart for valentine's and they're not going to put any more. So if you were lucky enough to go when I told you early. Because I always put stuff early. You found some. If not, that's it. And I found this cute strawberry one. And the only reason I found it. Because somebody hid it. And I found it, you guys. So I took it. And look at how cute it is. So I'm going to put that in the slot right there. And it is so adorable, you guys. <laughs> I love the strawberry. And yeah, I found um a couple more. You know, I was looking for anything and I did find like a couple more. So I put those away for somebody else because you never know. And the next thing I picked up were these Dove chocolates and they are so yummy. Let me tell you this. This was at the dollar store. I was in shock. It's Dove with peanut butter, dark chocolate with peanut butter. 
and they are delicious this is my new favorite you guys this is it my new favorite chocolate it is delicious let me tell you and then look at this one this is the other one this is the there's a regular one and a dark chocolate i picked up both of them just so she has you know a little bit of both of them and you guys they're so delicious you have to try them i don't know if you like dark chocolate or not but since i am living a healthier life dark chocolate is better for you and plus i am a type 2 diabetic so yeah i i love candy you know i love chocolate and dark chocolate is healthier the next thing i found were these felt sticker hearts they were 26 for a dollar and this was at the dollar store as well you guys these are so cute i'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of these in one of the slots so she has um and they're red ones the red ones are even cuter look at them oh my god they are so adorable i'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of them in one of the slots hopefully she comes up with something cute i'm not sure but i'm just gonna go fill up this one and i'm just gonna pile them on there for her and yeah look at how cute it is i love it there's the little red ones and the pink ones i thought that was a great touch to this little um box of goodies basically box of goodies so yeah hopefully she likes it i thought it was a cute idea and i will be repeating this idea again just for a different occasion you guys and it was affordable let me tell you i didn't waste a lot of money because all the extra candies my kids ate them and the rest of them i'm gonna go ahead and make something else for the um assistant teacher so then look at the little box isn't it adorable so now that it's ready you guys we're gonna go ahead and close it up and we're gonna make a beautiful bowl and wrap it up for her and it is so cute i'm sure she's going to love it and yeah look at how cute it is you guys i'm sorry my camera moves a lot i don't know why but i'm doing my best at filming but look at i am like in love with this i mean i would love to receive this too you know who wouldn't it's a cute little and then you could put all sorts of things you could put um um nuts and berries you can put anything you want in there make sure it's just closed because if you don't know that person don't open their candies and put them in there you guys please make sure everything is wrapped especially if you're giving this to a teacher it's just safer but yeah it came out great the next thing i'm using is this ribbon i picked up at the dollar tree and it was just a dollar and this is the ribbon i'm gonna use to make a little cute bowl and just wrap it up for her you know I think it would make an extra touch of niceness and I'm happy. So let's go ahead and just try to measure your ribbon. Make sure you get enough so you wrap the box and you make a bow at the end. So hopefully you just, when you think you have enough, go ahead and add another little piece to it, okay? So yeah. How's everybody? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, you guys. Give me a thumbs up, like this video. Comment down below. I love to hear from you, like always. So yeah, don't be a stranger. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. The link is down below. And look at how cute this ribbon is, you guys. It is so shiny and cute. So the only thing I am going to do is figure out how to wrap it up. And that's why I make these videos, you guys. If I make mistakes, it's okay. Because it's so you could look at it and, you know, find a better way to make it. I love making these videos to give you just some ideas of what's out there, what you can do, how better you can make it, you know, how you can adjust it. And yeah, go for it. I always love to hear your tips too as well. Just please don't be rude. I don't have time for that. But yeah, go ahead and um, comment down below, you guys. And look at me. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it without like flipping the candy upside down. It's so hard. But I actually figure it out, you guys. All you have to do is bring it down at the bottom, tw uh, make a twist, pull one string one way and one string the opposite way, and it's perfect. And at the top, all you're going to do is make a knot, a super, 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 super tight knot, so nothing moves, you guys. And then we're going to make our bow. But make sure you make that knot, because if you don't, everything's going to come apart and be loose, and you don't want it to be loose, because the bow will come off the box. So make sure you make a super, super tight knot. Go for it. Don't be scared. And then once it's there, you see, 
go ahead and make your bow make sure you make your bow nice and big now i was gonna go ahead and add this on there but then it was like way too big and i decided it was gonna cover the whole box because the box isn't that big at all it's pretty like a medium size so then i decided to go ahead and use the felt stickers since i had them anyways i thought that would be a cute touch to the box so that's what i end up using you guys and i thought i could hang the felt sticker on the ribbon but unfortunately i was not able to because it's so hard to cut through felt i try to use my um look at i'm still trying to measure this out so funny and I wasn't going to edit it because it still was an idea. Maybe you can find a way to put it on there. I would love to see that, you know. Just tag me on your photo. If you have me on Instagram and you make something, just tag me in the photo. I would love to see what you make, you guys. But look at it. It would have been a cute idea. But look at how big the heart is. I love these hearts. I actually bought them at the dollar store, you guys. They were like 27 hearts for a dollar. And it's a good shiny paper. It's like a hard card stock. So if you find them, trust me, buy them in every color because you are going to get a great use out of them for Valentine's Day, for Mother's Day, for a gift. There's always good to give a heart out. So go for it. So the next step is to put this felt sticker on here. So I decided that I was going to just punch a hole through it with the hole puncher. <laughs> and it doesn't work, you guys. Let me tell you, you can't. And then that's when I'm like, hello, it's a sticker. I could just peel the back off. And that's exactly what I did. You see, I'm trying to punch a hole. And right there, I discovered that it's a sticker. And I still try again, you guys. I'm so, you know. But look at it. I'm going to give up in a while because it does, the hole doesn't, it just doesn't want to punch a hole through the felt. I guess you need like scissors or something. But that's fine because it was a sticker. And you know what? You make it work. If one idea does not work, keep going until you find something that does. Don't ever give up, you guys. Always find a way to make everything work no matter what. And if you can, keep trying. I'm sure you'll find a way. And now it's time to put a little bow. So cute. So all I'm going to do is trim it. And um, that's it. That idea is done, you guys. It's just going to get trimmed. And that's it. And we move on to the next one. So grab your scissors. Make sure you have a good pair of scissors, you guys. It's so important when you do your arts and crafts to have a good pair of scissors. Why? Because... The scissors will chew the ribbon and then it'll start pulling it apart. They have some great scissors at the Dollar Tree. They are the white ones that are always there. You guys, those work fabulous as well. I have a pair around my house. So go ahead if you can get yourself a good ass pair of scissors. Go to the Dollar Tree. That one is a great pair of scissors. So go for it. The next step is I'm pulling off the hearts and I'm going to go ahead and attach it in the front of the box. And voila. That is it. I am done. It is beautiful. And I'm moving on. I really like how this idea came out, you guys. I hope you like it as well. And let me know if you liked it or if nah or yay. <laughs> and let's move on to the next one. So for the next teacher, I'm going to go simple and easy, you guys. I already, you know, s wasted quite a few cash so let's save you guys i love to save i always love to find how to you know just save with when you're giving there's always a way so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and use all the leftover chocolate and put it in here for her as a goodie bag i'm gonna go ahead and give her a nice cute goodie bag for her because i don't want her left out since she is just the assistant sometimes they don't get anything at all so all I'm doing is putting in all the extra candy that I did not use into the goodie bag, you guys. So go ahead. Don't buy any more. Just put in the leftover candy into a clear bag. I bought these clear bags at the dollar store. You get 27 of them for a dollar. So it's a steal. Let me tell you that. So the next step that I will be adding are... I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my little erasers in there. And the rest of my stickers for her with the little heart stickers i thought that would be a cute touch just for her and it'll make it more valentine ish so she won't feel left out so go ahead and pull the rest of the stuff that you have from the first one and just throw it in there and let's go ahead and mix up that little goodie bag and make it look nice and cute so let's go ahead and add whatever you can add in there you know there's nothing wrong with that you're saving money and you're giving somebody 
or something, you know. It's not. It's at the end of the day, she's gonna be like, "Thank you," you know. Everybody leaves me out, and nobody cares about the helper, or the assistant, or nothing. That's just how it goes sometimes. You only have money to buy one person a gift. So if you do buy somebody something, I'm sure they're gonna love it and appreciate it, no matter how much it was worth or what it is, as long as you made it for that person. So yeah, it actually came out really cute, the idea. And then I went ahead and added some of the erasers, like I said. Go ahead and add whatever you want into there, and it's going to be super cute. And I really like the way it came out. You can even make these little goodie bags for the kids in the classrooms. Like, just buy a ton of them and just add a little bit of everything to each goodie bag. I'm sure the kids would love that as well. I didn't make any for the kids this year, you guys, because I'm just going to go ahead to Sam's Club and I'm going to buy a big case of the juices and take one to the daycare and one to my kids' school. So it'll be easier that way and I don't have to carry so much because I already have to carry all the gifts for like the teachers, the before and after help, <laughs> daycare, assistance. So I really have a lot of carrying. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it easier for when I have to take the kids in the classroom. Because I will be making like two trips to the car that day for both kids. But yeah, look at how cute that goodie bag came out. And then I added the extra touch of bow. And look at how beautiful. It actually came out beautiful. Now next I wanted to show you this. I don't know if you saw the haul. I picked these up at the dollar store, you guys. I am in love with those little notebooks. They come with a pen. So that is so convenient that it comes on the pen. And then I picked up these cute, 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 cute bees for valentine's so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the tags because i will be giving them each one i decided why not stick with the valentine's theme since i already did valentine's and it is teacher appreciation day you guys and i do appreciate the teachers let me tell you it's hard work to look after all those kids even if they don't have big class sizes it's hard work kids have attitudes they're tired they're happy they're sad and the teachers are really there for them, you know. And my kids' teachers are so nice, you guys. And I really appreciate them. I'm always saying hi and stopping by to talk to them. Because you know what? They take care of your kid for like eight hours of the day. And those eight hours, you want to make sure that your kid is safe with that person. And you have to show them some appreciation. I'm sure that, you know. The next thing I picked up were these cute bags at the dollar store, you guys. They're two for a dollar. And the smaller ones are three for a dollar. But I picked up these bigger bags because I thought they were so cute. You guys, look at the pattern on these bags. I am, like, in love with them. If you go check it out, they're still there. There's a ton of bags left still. And you might want to go ahead and pick some up for next year. You never know and put them away. I'll probably stop at walmart for the after valentine sale and at walgreens to go see if i could find some goodies for like discounts because i love to do that and then just save it so when i have to give it away i love to save a buck i can't help it i always been that way so if you see that i give people stuff out most likely yeah it is pretty but i actually picked it up at an after sale and i saved on it i'm really smart at that <laughs> So let's go ahead and wrap the first gift. Now the first gift is going to be for the teacher, the main teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap hers up first. I picked up this cutie bag that I'm going to use for her. And let's go ahead and wrap it. I'm going to actually put this gift box in some tissue because I love to put everything I can with a piece of tissue. You know. So let's put it in like that and let's hope it fits. And thank God I took the bigger bags because it fits perfect if it's perfectly you guys you just have to adjust it just a little bit and make sure when you put it in that you do not rip the bag you guys put it in like slanted and if it's perfect and i love it if it's perfect you can even just give her that and i'm sure she'll be happy with that but i'm gonna go ahead and add the little b on there because i thought it's so cute she could put it on her desk so let's go ahead and wrap up the little b i'm just gonna wrap it up like that and then put it into the bag and it fits perfect, you guys. Look at how cute that is. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick a notebook. I have more of them, but I put them away. I just wanted to show you some of the ones I got. And I'm going to go ahead and put that one in. And hopefully she likes it. And that's her gift. That's good enough. That's for the main teacher. And now we're going to go ahead and wrap up the gift for the other teacher. So let's go ahead and pick her a notebook out. 
I like this one. It says XOXO and it has the beautiful big lips on there. You guys, those are so cute. So let's go ahead and put that in. And then it has a little goodie bag. Let's go ahead and put the goodie bag in. And look at how adorable. And then I picked this up at Walmart. It's the six lids. I'm pretty sure you saw that I am obsessed with them and I love eating them. So I'm just going to go ahead and add one into her bag for her. And voila. I'm going to go ahead and add another tissue just to cover everything I put in there. And make sure it's nice. Oh, I forgot the bee. I did put in the bee for her. So hopefully she likes that. And there you go. Two cute, affordable gifts, you know. Um, Just to say happy teacher appreciation day, you guys. And now my kids will be happy. <laughs> my kid will be happy when he takes them to school for them. He's so sweet. And then I forgot the hand sanitizer. So I just want to add it at the end. And that's it. And until next time, bye, you guys.